And since you wouldn't hear my grandma when she asked you to, I think grandma is going to come into your room and try to bother you until you pay attention to her. That's the best voice. Okay? <laughs> That's the best voice I've heard from you. Just an old bird woman. <laughs> so basically Gwyneth Fowl from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> in my fucking ear. <laughs> you didn't hear my grandma ear. Hello, everybody. If you didn't know where we were, we were here. Hello, this is Grandma. Yeah, I got I got Grandma Danicky. <laughs> no, it's just Grandma. It's just Grandma. I see that all for you, for you, my little bitch. Thanks for coming, Grandma. <laughs> you can call me Pookie. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Pookie. Is that now, what, is that what? What do we have here on on this fancy? Box of colors or something. Well, on the doohickey that I got here, Graham. Okay. I got I got us um, a little surprise. Oh, what is this? Because it is, as you know, Graham, Graham, a very important day for me. No, I did not have my bar mitzvah. I had that. What are you What are you gonna get your bar mitzvah? I had, that was over you five know, years ago, Grandma. But no, no, it didn't, it didn't happen yet. What are you talking about? Are you, you think Grandma would remember these things? Why are you British? <laughs> why are her British inflection? <laughs> your grandmother I don't know why can't you don't remember Your Grandma. grandmother can't be British? <laughs> I guess she can think people can. Back in the old country, we just just call this talking. It wasn't just <laughs> It wasn't just British talk, it was talking. <laughs> We just called this talking. <laughs> okay, Graham. <laughs> well, as you know, Graham, Graham, today this this is Star Fox week. It's a very important week to me. Is it? Yes, it is. Not more important than Graham Graham's birthday. More important than you, when the day you gave me that licorice stick for my 18th birthday. I wanted a car, but that licorice stick held me on. Held I on know, to my hope. I know you enjoyed it. No, I, I, I spent tireless... A nickel. Tireless amounts of time trying to find a it. A British nickel. A pent. A whole pent. Because you know, Grandma can't walk as well as well as she used to. Sonic Unleashed so, was expensive in England. Trying to, find, trying to go to the market to go find it was very, very hard for me. But trying to keep that uh, inflection of yours is very hard too, I see, Graham Graham. It's very, it's so it's, we're going to play a game that's awful, Graham Graham. Why awful? Because, I don't know. Is it more awful than the charade that you keep on posing, Graham Graham? I don't remember you being so bony and... A black. <laughs> Did you come from my ancestors way, way long ago? <laughs> Graham, Graham, are you actually Danico this whole time? No! That's untrue! Has the volume of the TV been on this whole time? Is this just a god awful intro that has gone on longer than it should have, Graham, Graham? Danico? That moment when you're super jump into a killer whale! <laughs> <laughs> That's important news! I'm gonna start the game. Go play the game! <laughs> go Grandma play, commands go you! Go play the game! Oh my lord. Yep! Yeah. Anyway. That's gra- the game we were playing. Anyway, Grandma's gonna go. She's gonna go knit a sweater or something. Are you gonna take off your mask, Grandma? Grandma? Anyway. I'm gonna see you later on. Just make sure to buy the prune juice before before it gets too late. Well, be sure okay. to buy the prune juice, Grandma. Okay. Anyway, DJ, what do we have here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I'm confused know. about whatever the fuck that was. So. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. So we have. She seems something. like a, she seems like a very nice, very sweet lady. Oh, she's a. She's a she's a woman. I think. <laughs> nothing nothing dangling between the cheeks. I, I don't think so. I would hope not. I mean, she had to give birth to something. Huh? That's true. <laughs> had to give birth to my mother or father. Probably my father, because my father's... But anyway. 
So we're here together. The ambiguous question. The bearer of what the most tedious Star Fox game I've ever had the pleasure of enduring in my life. With me today. You loved it. Here on Star Fox Week. A week that is precious to me. You loved it. Debatable. As you as you famously quoted from yourself. I don't Okay. So we're here with something much more awful. And I've never played it, and so hasn't Danico, but we've heard awful things about it. And it's also had a god-awful story See, about revenge and travesty and blue bitches. See, because the thing is that, at least with Star Fox Adventure, people have mixed opinions. This is just all, like, mutual, this is shit. Because at least some people can enjoy it. At least Star Fox Adventure was bearable. Some people could at least enjoy it. Yes. Would you like? Wait. Was one of the options? Would you want the the the, the voices to be a to robot? Be, the voices to be machines. I don't know what that would entail. I'm really. Confused. But I'm assuming that it is indeed an option. I'm really confused by this. And apparently, there's Wi-Fi battle. Also, thank you, Nintendo, for giving me no excuse not to play this game because you know. Why, why release Star Fox 64 to the Wii Shop? No, we gotta get that Star Fox Command on the Wii Shop first. I mean, we're getting Star Fox U anyway. We're not getting it soon enough, and it's I mean, zero to you. Well, I'm calling it U because technically, oh, you're zero, technically zero is just U without Years ago, U, but just fatter. A and scientist just made it to be around. named Dr. Andros became obsessed with controlling the Lilat system and launched wave after wave of attack fighters from the remote planet of Venom. However, four brave pilots, this art's actually pretty good, yeah. who made up a squadron known as Star Fox will put an so end to the Doctor's mad ambition. Andros himself was defeated, and as time passed, that followed Venom became known as the qu Quarantine Planet due to that reputation. Of just Reputation. Being a, shut up. After a period of quiet and peace, such as many events in Dragon Ball Z, Venom struck back with a devastating attack on the Lilat system, and in all attempts at resistance were brushed aside. The occupiers were known as the Anglerfish and operated under the control of the Angler Emperor, who who didn't look like that guy from the Phantom Menace, not at all. Their headquarters were located at the Toxic Venom. The members of Star Fox and the heroic and famous squadron that had become the Lilad's hope and dreams had come to their hour of need. Each pilot was living a new life, and it would prove difficult to get them all together. Fox McCloud, the team's leader, was wandering the galaxy with his friend Rob, a navigation robot that totally wasn't from the NES system, inherited after his father's passing. Fox had used his time to flow and do things. <laughs> the Cornarian military hero, General Pepper, fell ill and could no longer lead as, as he once did. He recommended that Peppy Hare, Star Fox team member and the father figure of Fox, would be promoted to General Pepper's side. Peppy hair. Br Br Brash pilot Falco Lombardi lived as a loner. He drifted from job to job, searching for s the same thrill he felt when he was once a member of the Star Fox team. The technical brains behind the team and Star Fox's closest friend, debatable, was the good-natured Slippy Toad. Slippy met and fell in love with a girl named Amanda and decided to leave the world in flying state of a new life. Star Wolf! The true rivals of Star Fox continued to be involved in dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Their work soon caught the attention of the Corneri military, who put a massive bounty on their heads. And finally, the most godforsaken, awful piece of shit in the whole entire world, Crystal, the lone female There's of worse. the group. She had fought beside Fox and fell in love with him, much against her judgment. Blah, 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 a stupid love twilight ship, but Fox was quite wary of the danger of the haunting pilot from Star Fox Adventures and the elite squadron, and eventually forced Crystal to get the fuck out of his franchise. Wait, what and leave the team. Heartbroken, she left. Now the past has come to haunt them all. Unwilling and unable to face his former team, Fox has chosen to take the one entire Angler Armata by himself. Can he do it? Will he prevail? Will this game be good? No. One thing. <laughs> Go on. Wasn't... What's her... 
Wasn't Cat? I feel Cat was worse than Crystal because at least no, Cat was actually bearable. Was she? Cat was. Cat was just like delivering one-liners to Falco. I accidentally skipped it. Because all I think I remember of Cat was just her rig in Star Fox 64, just like, and then her stupid her stupid theme playing, and then she fucks off. <laughs> I'm like, okay, then she just flies off. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, but she didn't stay around. Make way for Cat! She wasn't that annoying. Yeah, she was. Yeah, but the, but the difference between Cat and fucking Crystal is Cat fucked off. <laughs> she was there for one level, did her cutesy little Amy Rose dick, and fucked off. Crystal doesn't want to fuck off. Crystal wants to be a part of my life forever. Crystal doesn't want to leave me alone. Crystal hasn't even d do anything in Star What a character adventure. Crystal is. All she really did was say trapped in the crystal. The angle force. Because Crystal. Because blue bitch. And why is it that the forces are named anglerfish? Like, They're not anglerfish, but... They are anglerfish. They are. But... Ratchet and Clank shit, shut up. The angler forces are responsible. Oh, responsible for what? Those guys don't know when to give up. Dude. Rob set a course for Corneria. Understood. How long will it take to reach our destination? I don't know. It depends on the buffering. I'm still processing the information, but it'll be time soon. Get a better processor! Now structure and ganging ganging. Gang gang. The angler forces use the hive mind. I already hate this. One unit that controls many ships. It's this stupid gaudy fucking helmet getup. If you could find and disable cores, other ships in the unit will be neutralized. Destroy the enemies, find the core, fly, collect, train, to do the thing. Doing so will increase your combat superiority over why do, the enemy. Why do... Oh, they speak like fucking Animal Crossing too. Only in a deep tone. I mean, so let me I feel like Star Fox, like, on the NES, did better voice, better gibberish voice. Yeah. At least it has, like, and a... I, 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 boom, boom, boom. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so let me see if I got these straight. Right. I pick out a target, and then I destroy it. Oh, really? Brilliant, Fox. Clever deduction, oh, friends. I never, we never and if I do all that good thing... I would never want to figure that out. If I do the bang bang and shoot at the ship, the good thing happens, right? Yeah. Also, let me tell you about your R Ring's rolling ability. I mean, do a barrel roll. The Aeron roll, sir. When you roll, you create a localized magnetic field. What? Is this anime fucking explanation shit? Exposition. <laughs> this field can be used to attract cores and other vital pickups. So apparently now barrels are magnetic? Yes, that's great, Rob. Science has, has done wonders for technology. Rolling helps me avoid enemy fire and lets me grab stuff. <laughs> I'm glad this was written by a fanfic three-year-old. Now you're talking my language. You're not talking ours. Yes, rolling is a very important skill. It said A, but I won't. I was really upset because I really thought it said rolling is important story, and I'm like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Good English. <laughs> rolling is important You will use story. it many times during combat. Gotcha. This is your first taste of combat in quite a while. May I set up some training? I await your decision. Do it. But thou must. <laughs> There are no second chances on the battlefield, Rob. If you give me everything you've got. Oh, affirmative. There is are multiple training programs available. First, we'll cover how to control your ship. In combat situations, there are learn the basics, dogfighting, so have fun. Fuck off. <sighs> okay. One, two, three, or four. Controlling your fighter. Oy. Let's see how this game controls. What the fuck? Oh, okay, I gotta use the touch. I gotta use um touch screen to actually move. <laughs> this is not great. You already missed a ring. Oh my god, this isn't fun. Why are you boosting? 
Because I, my cursor accidentally went to the boosting thing. Wow. There's a rainbow though. Thanks, Miyamoto, for utilizing your touch controls of a DS to control this ship. You're not even going through the rings. Wow. I'm glad it can move in any direction. But it's restricted to my finger. Wow. You could This is bad. You could have went through this in one go. Who thought this was a good idea? Feel that. Try to maneuver that. What a retarded thing! Wait, what? Yeah! Eh, eh. I guess I'm spinning. I guess I'm just spinning infinitely. Like, look, like that's awful as fuck! I guess I'm just spinning infinitely. Hold on. It's like. That's no way to control a Star Fox game, though, am I right? It is really weird. It's like. Yeah, it's like you have to be really careful on how you control, actually. It, that, that, you know what? That's why I fucking hate Miyamoto. Like, he's a fucking gaming genius. But every time, like, Nintendo needs to do this creative shit with their consoles, it's like, let me, I'll only make a game if it's innovative with the controller. So I hate him. Thank God Platinum is smart enough to not let him do that and ruin the new Star Fox game, hopefully. Because it won't restrict you to these controls. So you just like flip it up to do a U-turn? No, there's a button for it. The left one is a U-turn, I think. No, that wasn't a U-turn. That was just a like. Ugh. That wasn't even a U-turn. Okay, I'll get that one later. How do you blast? Nope, I don't know. <laughs> B button? Oh, okay. Yeah, B button. Which is weird because why is it up? I guess because it's a, not the DL actually. Yeah, well you're using yeah, we're you're using the Wii U pad. Right. So it's gonna be a little bit more wonky. But even that it's weirdly controls. That's weird. Combat techniques, let's see how awkward feeling this will be. I feel like it's even more awkward on on this because the the fact that it's not Yeah, but still, I could you imagine playing that controlling being any different? No, I'm saying the beat. Like, just using, like... No, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, uh, that screen is, like, even more awkward. Like, look at what, like, Star Fox 3DS did. It had joysticks to move the shit. Wait, there was a... Yeah. The remake, remember? No. Do you remember that for the 3DS? Give me, like... Yeah, they just basically put Star Fox 64 with a new paint job and put it on the 3DS. Oh. With updated graphics and stuff. And you were able to use the joystick, not the fucking touchpad to move your shit. Well, because it has a joystick. Yeah. Now you see, at least Adventure's better than this. This should, t it, this should totally take- yeah, it, Adventure is better than this. Well, fuck. Because now you can't say that this game is complete, that Adventure was the worst. We did- I thought we did say that Command was shit anyway. I Adventure know. at least has some redeeming qualities. Mm -hmm. It's tedious as fuck, but it at, at least has redeeming qualities to it. This is just... This just controls, like, complete horse manure. Manure. This is the most awful thing- I've never felt a Star Fox game feel like this before. It's absolutely awful. How do I fuck I get out of this training area? I gotta beat them? I gotta get the stars. Oh, that's what the fuck I gotta do. I'm just do the magnetic barrel roll. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> do we at least have a boost? You boosted before. What? Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess what you do is you drag that and that's your- that's- That's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> to say the least. Here we go. That's how- this is how a ship is aerodynamic as it wobbles around. Ah, there it goes! That's how you do it! How'd you do it? Mistakingly doing it. How'd you do it? Maybe I do, like, a circle motion. 
think I have. All right, let's get to the game. Fuck this. We get it. The, the game controls like ass shit. You did well. <laughs> you did well. You have a lot... You have not lost a step. <laughs> were we seeing the same thing? <laughs> Rob, are you drunk? Woo! That was quite a workout. I mean, handling this like a fucking stick shift on a car sure was annoying. <laughs> this is the end of the training program. You have nothing further to learn. Lose all hope in your franchise until 2015. <laughs> Will we be arriving at Corneria soon? Yes. Looks like we're going to be out of business. What? Yes. The adventure begins. Corneria, the adventure begins. Like Part in every one, game. The Phantom Menace. Like in every game. We have entered the orbit and Corneria is awaiting your instructions. Okay, Corneria, fuck off. <laughs> I'll destroy the world. What's the situation down there? Well, there's a bunch of batshit crazy shit going on, Fox. You know, nothing. My sensors are picking up multiple enemies. You're being attacked by anglerfish, apparently. Shit's getting real. Starfish are everywhere. <laughs> Any other news? Yes, you will be seeing the time display when you engage an enemy. The remaining flight time is of zero. And you then you will plummet to an unfortunate end. Don't be careless. <laughs> Why is there a time limit on a ship? Guess. Ha, huh, well, if I get taken out, it's all up to you, Rob. <laughs> hey, we're fucked. <laughs> Are you joking? Ha ha ha. That is a joke, correct. I am a robot, you get it? <laughs> what? What? This is what is strategy? It? Use the stylus to draw your flight path. You can redraw the flight path as many times as you want. Oh, and I'm restricted to my fuel. See, you did have gas. Pull up the turn. What the fuck is this? Okay, I want to go there. Yeah, I get it. It's a ship. Let me go to it. I think it's to click on the turn icon after you make your path. Oh. I can't click up there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, turn one. Okay, there we go. And why is this like an RCS now? Not even. Guess to kill time with this piece of crap. Warning, if you have limited number of turns, if you run out of turns, your mission will be over. Watch out for incorrections. If there you use the Gray Fox, your mission will end. Okay, so I have so that's my base and I have to stop them. Enemy Oh, they're going towards the base. When your fighter encounters an enemy, the battle panel will appear. Touch the battle panel to begin the conflicts. Okay, and then you play Star Fox. And then you do this like arena fighter. Come on, enemy, show up. There we go. Amy, what? God, this controls like absolute horseshit. <laughs> there we go. Can I aim? There we go. Wasn't there a lock on button? Yeah, there is, but I don't want to waste it. Turn, you shit. Turn! Come on. There we go. Can I get him? I don't want to. Stop spinning! <laughs> there we go. You gotta get the stars. Oh, yeah, God forbid I don't get those. 
Because apparently the stars are just a requirement to beat missions. Oh, what a piece of crap. Wow. You did it. I mean, the way that, like, it's doing this, Star Fox 2 did it like this. Did it? Yeah, that's how they did it, like, turn-based type of a thing. You only have two turns remaining. Destroy the enemies. Will it just be both now? Or I guess. I don't know. Or I guess like maybe I can only engage one per turn. Stop! What the? What? No internet. Back to game. <laughs> what? There okay. we go. There we go. <laughs> no, I have a heart attack. And this music is so, like, whimsical. It's... just shitty, like... just decompressed old stock Fox music. I don't wanna play this! Come on! I mean, even if it used a D-pad or something, I mean, you could shoot with a D-pad. Why would you... What? What? Then push the... push the... the touchscreen. Push... push the shoot bangs of a D-pad. Wow. I will say this much, the pixel art of the characters is pretty good. Okay, so you can have uh, I can, okay. I was about to say. Alright, come on, Fox, let's shoot the bang bangs. Oh, wait, can you just use the bomb? Oh, yeah, that's right. Fuck off. There you go. How do you play Star Fox? You can drag and drop a bomb. Was that really all you really needed to do? Yes! Can you just clear every mission doing that? Is this game that unbalanced? Wow. <laughs> I really wonder. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're limited to how many bombs you can use, but... Uh, like, that was mad fast. I was just like, okay. So when does everyone else come in? Where, where do we get this dark, re dark, deep story? Oh, New man. record! New record! Any new information, Rob? Well, yeah, we fight you consisting mostly of alumni. Alumni? Um, they also contain traces of- <laughs> They're consisting of alumni! They also contain traces of Krom. So what does that mean? Of Krom it means fire emblems better than this fucking piece of shit. It is, though. It is, actually. <laughs> they can even survive in a- Caustic Venom Sea. What? I see. So their home base is located in the Venom Sea. Where the fuck's the Venom Sea? In Venom? <laughs> okay, take... So they, they just live in the oceans what of Venom? What is our next destination, Fox? I want to increase our firepower, but I'm worried about the enemy attack power. I've got to do something, and fast. Right now, we're just sitting ducks, waiting to get duck hunted. Huh? I'm glad that I can also choose these two, but I'm only restricted to contacting Slippy. Maybe probably on your first playthrough. Or is it just like, it'll come back to it? You unlock them when you care. Reunion, <laughs> reunion with Slippy. Oh, what a great reunion. The reunion I always hoped for. Contact with Slippy is now possible. How did we do that, Rob? <laughs> Through the magical technology of a cellular phone. <laughs> I mean, maybe Falco just has his phone off, exactly. It's slippy, though. Slippy here, it's been a long time, buddy. Sure it has. How are you? Not that I care. 
getting your dick Great, wet. Great, thanks. I've been having thousands upon thousands of frog children and just mating like crazy. <laughs> Do you think you can join me? I don't leave, know. Leave your family. Come join back with me. To Come fight, back. To go fight anglerfish. The angler armada. Say no more. I'm on my way. Send me the data and ask for the rendezvous. Rob, send Slippy the data. Okay. He asked you to do okay, it, Fox. Okay, I sent the data. He asked you to do it. Why don't you do it, Fox? I love that there was three transitions of Slippy, will you join? Yes. Send the data. I'll send the data. Thanks for sending the data. The whole Carnaria has overrun. <laughs> it appears so. Get me missile, perhaps lend hand. You can use your ship to pick up items on the map. Why would you need fuel cells? This isn't this is Star Fox Adventure. Well, no, because you need them to help you reach more places. Exactly, this isn't Star Fox Adventure. Oh, well, fuck. I guess you have to... Oh. So I guess just the Great Fox can just do it. No, have the Great Fox... Do pew pew. Do pew pew. Turn to go. How am I supposed to get there to stop it then, Rob? The game said, do you touch the great fox? And destroy it? No, it said you can slide slide the slide to shoot the missile with the great fox. <sighs> Oh, Dan's paying attention. What is that? <laughs> well, hello there, piranha fish <laughs> from Mars. Yo, if he replaces Andros, I'm not even upset. I am. <laughs> Cause that that design is fucking creepy as fuck. You totally didn't watch the Phantom Menace and think, wow, that Jar Jar character sure is cool, and that King guy that was next to him? Nah, forget about it. So yeah. how do I shoot a missile? I gotta pick them up? You gotta get picked them up again, yeah. Like, I think Rob said it. I'm, I'm completely phasing in and out on this fucking dog shit. Okay. Yeah, you said touch the great fox and then slide. Then. Okay. So then I could just have a ship do work for me. I mean, you only have like two. Like, you only had two missiles. I. But then I could get another one right now. Exactly. <laughs> Bye. His I'm glad I failed you, Rob. His planet needs him. I must away now. My planet needs me. <laughs> Come on with this crap. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemy sighted. Three remaining. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Fuel tank. Stop dying. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. I think. Hold on. Hold on. Attack the. that guy first. No, not him. You have to attack the. Th the yeah, that guy too. Because he has three, his speed is three, and that matters. Yes. Confirm to matter. Come on! Then how the fuck do I... Oh my god, are we just gonna have to replay this awful thing over and over? Okay, Hogan Air has an hour by Anglefish. Oh, see, you only had two bombs yourself, actually, so you can't just, like, spam hmm. that missions, actually. But... But yeah, like, 
Like, you see how fast they come? No, I'm saying, aim it at that the guy with the two, the two small ones. And then him. But they're just gonna come right at me. But that one moves slower. Mm -hmm. Dan, you're a genius. You're a tactical aficionado. See, I as you're a tactician. <laughs> this isn't far enough. Right we've truly, we've truly performed our ironclad battle tactic. Wait, why do you have to go through rings too? To get energy? What are those? Were those, were those seahorses? <laughs> You have to fight seahorses too. Yeah. Those are in Star Fox 64. I know them. You have to fight the sea and I have to fight. Yes, I have to fight seahorses. There's a lot of enemies. At least it'll keep things interesting. Mm. Not really. <laughs> Take that. And In more interesting than just move your character here. I mean, if you're into Advance Wars, I guess this is the game for you? Do the pew pew to him, too. I pew pewed him. Okay, we're good. But I took some damage. Oh no. Get fucked, boys. You missed. I got more! You only have one. More. Okay, you got two of them, at least. Do your magnetic. Okay, so at least it's not overpowered in the fact that I can complete every mission with just the smart bombs. Okay, so go back and get the get the thingies. Get what thingies? The stars, so you can finish this, this mission. You are a jukebox hero! You've got stars in your eyes! Beep, 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 beep. Where are you going? Okay, it is that I do a circular motion and then I do a barrel roll. I have to still c kill people, Dan. You know. Yes, I do. You have all the. S you need to get all the stars. That's Are you all sure? I think that's all you really needed to do to complete the mission. No, that doesn't make sense. I still need to kill more people to get more stars. No, look, there look, th there's two more stars. It says you have four out of six. The other two are over there. Okay, fine, Dan. I'll slowly boost my way over there. In circles. <laughs> I'm trying, damn it! I don't know what the heck. I don't know where you're going. Left. There you go. See, they're right there. And do your spinning. The enemy has been destroyed, but not really. <laughs> Who cares about the seahorses? Stupid fucking seahorses. What a magnificent seahorse! <laughs> <laughs> now just shoot missiles. Oh, I s <laughs> sorry <laughs> to keep you waiting! Slippy, can you really join the fray? Are you really. What the fuck is that shit, by the way? <laughs> that doesn't look like a fucking R wing at all. That looks like a fat fucking Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> That's Slippy for you. His smile is really creepy. With his fucking Dorito ship. You have only two turns remaining. Destroy the enemy. The Gray Fox is too close to shoot them down. I'm pretty sure the Gray Fox can just shoot th Wait, what? <sighs> it seems like you easily did that. I guess that's a turn. I go just decide to cower in a corner because Slippy's coming. Oh no, Slippy's coming! Get out of the way! <laughs> We're all dead! <laughs> Slippy is the true hero of the day! <laughs> oh great. I get to hear Slippy's insightful banter <laughs> in his Dorito ship that has double shooters, which is actually really helpful. So I guess each ship is gonna have their their different attributes to help them. I mean that's cool. 
It'd be cooler if, if, if the controls weren't dog shit and I could use, use them more easily. Fuck off. Get all the stars at this point. Like, how Keep on forgetting that that's the stupid objective. Not to kill all the enemies. Be sure to get these stupid fucking stars. You know, that's what Mario does all day. Yeah, but Mario is not like a shooter. <laughs> but there is that one awesome uh, game with Toad that just shoots people. <laughs> and he goes... Slippy, thanks for the help back there. Time's a wasting. <laughs> Mission complete. Hold up. Star Fox Command? More like belongs in the trash. We're done. Fuck that. <laughs>